Okay, so here I am on my back porch trying to demonstrate how to calculate the density of a cork. cork. I've been collecting corks to make a dartboard out of. So what did I do? I picked a big old champagne cork. Do you predict a problem I have with this? I just recorded its mass in grams and now I'm measuring out 50 milliliters of water. You got to get down eye level to be sure. It doesn't really matter how much the initial volume is as long as you know its number accurately. I'm being a little bit OCD about this or CDO, as my sister-in-law would say. So, recording the initial volume. Now there's a problem. Oh, well that won't do. Let's try this. Mike Grayson is my favorite. So I'll pick another one. Grayson my favorite wine at this time. And every day I'm erasing my mistakes. That's why I like pencils that come from educational innovations. In the classroom we used to use dissecting needles but at home, I use um, shish kebab skewers. The pointed tip allows you to submerge the cork without taking up any more volume from the skewer. This is about when having a partner helps to read the graduates with accuracy. It's hard for me to do with my old eyes, and a pointed tip helps. So I can feel and count. Seventy-five. Now I'm recording the final volume, which shows the displacement volume of the cork. And to calculate density, I take the mass and divide it by the volume and then record the density in grams per milliliter. And according to my research, the density of cork is between 0.24 grams per milliliter to 0.35 grams per milliliter. There you go.